Welcome back to another torture trivia. For every question you get wrong, your torture is gonna be to get more cozy. Wait! <laughs> yeah, you shoot me with a tranquilizer. That's wrong. And our beautiful contestants today have all gotten a very small amount of sleep. I'm Johnny, and I didn't sleep a wink last night. I'm Zach, I didn't wink a sleep last night. Hi, I'm Quasey James, and I've been up for a very long time. Well, let's get started, <laughs> gents. <laughs> Your first hmm. easy question. Dum, 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 dum. How much time do humans spend their life sleeping? Shit. Is it a third of their life, half of their life, a fourth of their life, or a fifth of their life? So there's 24 hours in I a know, day I'm doing and this. I sleep. <gasps> we're doing math. <laughs> I got it, I win. All right, we're gonna go with the confident motherfucker at the end. One, three, can Zach I have a blanket Orfeld. please? You got the one tree. Three for three, a full one. If wow. you add up all of our numbers. That's math, right? That is math and boys, I am proud of you. Yeah. This one's for all of you daddies out there. Becky, my children are a secret. <laughs> Please. How much sleep do new parents miss in the first two years of their baby's life? Do they miss A, four months, B, six months, C, 12 months, or D, 16 months? Which is how you say your baby is a little over a year if you're annoying. I say C, 12 months. I said C, 12 months. I thought like, Two years of sleep. Wait, two. Wait, they miss a year of sleep in two years? That is what you are saying. Oh, now. baby, that was. Johnny, that is what you're saying. That's what you're telling me. C for cakes. Oh, oh no, I meant A. You want to go with A? Four months? I'm going to go with five months. Zach, five months was not an option, but you could do four months or six months. Corn Diddy, four, six. Corn Diddy, are you awake over there? Corn Diddy, four, six months. It's an A, an A, no, an a. so you're saying four months. <laughs> you are all so incredible because you actually all got it wrong, all at the same time. Wow. Yay. Oh, sorry, I was writing it was backwards. Upside down. Oh, yes, it yes, was yes, meant yes. to be there. You were writing for the camera. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, your first punishment today is going to be to take a sleep gummy, not the fun kind. Oh, oh. No THC here, only melatonin. Take yeah. two and pass it down. Give me a hand. Take two and pass it down. I've never taken a melanin gummy. A melatonin <laughs> gummy. <laughs> Who was the Greek god of sleep? Me. Oh, yeah. Was it A, Hypnos, B, Somnus, or Somnus, you know, accents. Yep. C, Artemis, yep. or D, Nyx. Yep. Everyone's affordable makeup brand. I know it's w between two of them. It's be really between four of them yeah. right now. So. Well, I'm, I'm, Are they all real Greek gods? Can you answer that? No. <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree in acting. I don't know. <laughs> Johnny Cakes, what we got? A, Hypnos. A, Hypnos. Yeah. I got C. I don't remember what C was. I just guessed. I'm going A, a Hypnos. Johnny and Zach, you're brilliant. Woo! You're brilliant at Hypnos. He's the Greek god. Quasi, oh god. how are you feeling right now? I feel warm. You want some sleep time tea? Fuck it, let's do it. Is this mission oh. chill or is this some other bullshit? This is some sleep time bullshit. Give me a sleepy little oh. thing. What sleep phenomenon is currently on the rise? Ooh, easy. Is it A, insomnia, <laughs> B, sleep paralysis, C, daytime napping, or D, sleepwalking? Daytime napping? Yeah, like taking That's like a, a nap. 30. That feels like yes. it's, that it feels like a nap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know nap. what a nap is. It's, it's, it makes a difference because I'm daytime napping is on the rise. Like, yeah, babe. Give Johnny not. another gummy. I think he needs to be a little sedated. <laughs> yeah, you shoot me with a tranquilizer. That's round three. Johnny. So I wrote D with an asterisk that said, if it's daytime napping, I'm suing. We can't rebrand <laughs> napping. C. Cause I don't remember what C was. Daytime napping. Daytime napping. Daytime napping. Daytime napping. Daytime napping. Just because. Get Rachel. ready, liquidate your assets. It's on the rise. I'm coming for the tribe. Johnny's on the rise. Daytime napping. <laughs>
I think the hottest trend this year is little demons at your bed. Wow. You wake up, you can't move. Uh-oh, there's a demon at the foot of your bed doing a little dance for you. Gen Z loves per sleep paralysis. While that is horrifying, it is not on the rise, and yeah. neither is daytime napping, but you it is sleepwalking. Cause it daytime is on the rise. napping is in a thing. Uh, let's go. Enjoy your tea. I make a sleepy time tea. It's better than this. But aren't you not selling it anymore? I do sell the tea, I just don't talk about it anymore. I just don't advertise it. Well, you it. are talking about it currently. Well, I just, so for the it's... record, I don't advertise it because I'm lazy. Which US state has the highest percentage of adults okay. who get seven or fewer hours of sleep okay. per night? A, California, B, New York, C, Hawaii, or D, Nevada? Okay. Answer locked and loaded? Yep. People are gonna say that it's New York the state that never sleeps, but I think it is the home of agriculture in these United States. A, California. I say for the hometown kid, I'm gonna say New York. B, this is the Statue of Liberty. This mm -hmm. is the Hudson River. Okay. That's the Brooklyn Bridge, and Brooklyn is back there somewhere. Beautiful, and that's you? You told me about the Statue of Liberty. What the beautiful? I thought, what's, what's like the most like restful, luxuriously, those are where the tourists go, and the people who, who live there probably are keeping that business alive. So I said, see Hawaii. And Johnny, with that beautiful logic, you are actually correct. So let's bring in another <laughs> cup of tea. Let's bring in more gummies. That's Go! <laughs> I'm filming five videos today. Yeah, give me. Give this me. is not a punishment for now. This is an investment this is against wild. your yeah. future. Lazy. <laughs> Two. It. I feel like We're I'm feeling them already. Or is that just no. placebo? <laughs> yeah, you did it. Good job. Which of these historically the longest sleeping mammal, Snorlax. sleeping up to 22 hours a day? Easy. Me. Is it A. Pandas, B. Koalas, C. Giraffes? Or D, sloth. You're thinking so hard. I think images are being drawn, mm. notes are being written. We're getting much calmer in here. Very quiet. Mr. James. Okay, I get D, sloth, and he's holding on to a branch. Can't see him because he's sleeping. That is a swole, swole sloth. I was gonna say, I <laughs> see my, a lot of myself in this audience. <laughs> and there is no bicep, but okay. Do you think I'm swole? I said B for beauty rest, cuties gotta sleep. Adorable, getting their beauty rest. Corn Diddy, what you got for yeah, us? Yeah, koalas are stupid. Hmm. Is that your answer? That's my answer. <laughs> that is wonderful, because you actually met a koala once, yeah. and we did learn this fact in Australia that they do sleep the longest. It is koalas, so Mr. J. I'm so sorry, that's another one down. I feel like it looks like I've got insider information. I think you like actually are. About. I yeah. swear to God, I do. You're really uh, smart. Johnny, it looks like and sounds like you're lied about not sleeping. <laughs> yeah. No, you're mm. hype as fuck, bro. Oh, a big T for you. Okay, this is sort of my like resting state. It's oh, very shit. annoying. Boys, how we doing? We've hey. all taken a melatonin gummy at this point. Yep. Maybe we've taken four. Like a motherfucking nap. Time? You know, um, <laughs> we call it popping a Benny in my, <laughs> in my home. I'm a pop a Benny. It means, oh, I need a Benadryl. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go sleep. I feel like I popped a Benny. People seem to think that I'm stoned in most videos, which isn't true, but I don't think this is gonna help my cause. This is fake. It's not warm. Can you guys know that? It's just, it's, it's just, it's, don't believe everything you see on TV. Zach is not high and not everything on TV is real. In every video I'm not high. Not every video. Not every video. All right, gents, we are jumping right into round two. These okay. questions are gonna be harder than the first round, oh, which word. also means that your punishment, if you get it wrong, is also going to be harder. Is anybody else hot? You know why you don't want to fall asleep? Why? Because there's a prize. Uh, there is a prize to win today, and that is an all paid overnight trip to downtown Los Angeles <laughs> to stay in the quote unquote cute as hell hotel, the free hand. Oh my God. Oh, I'm, <laughs> oh. In which year was the modern waterbed invented? Mm. Easy. A, 1952. B, 1965, C, 1968, or D, 1971? I know 
86 was so a lot of f shit happened. Ah, okay, 86 is not an option. Though. This is hard. Oh, <laughs> it's hard, I, I agree. Don't I don't know when water beds actually were the most popular. When they were invented? Invented. I know, but you can reverse engineer from when they were made. Yes. That's how I feel. Yes, me too. Things take long to catch on. I went for like the most obvious, which was 71. Because, well, I also wrote, it looks like I'm cheating, but I'm not because I just want to, <laughs> I don't know the answer. I hope I actually get this wrong. Johnny's very concerned that the audience thinks He's cheating. Girl, A, 1952. 52. Is that 52? That's 52, 1952. Because shit takes time to catch on. The 50s were the era of goofy white people thinking they could do anything. So I'm going A. That is a beautiful explanation, but unfortunately, all three of you are wrong. Oh. It was 1962. Eight. So, gents, take off those shoes. Oh, I'm tired. Are we feeling cozy? Oh, shit. Oh, this is nice. These, huh? are, these do feel really nice. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Yeah. This is yeah. so, this is good. You're also showing a little skin there, Zach. Showing people the hairy tum-tum. Me? Ooh, the hairy tum-tum's always been free. True or false? Yep. Humans are the only primates who can sleepwalk. Never seen a monkey. Only primates. The only primates. The only primates. Do we think that sleepwalking is a function of an overactive, educated brain. That we have so many neurons that are firing in the ways and the, the photons. No, I agree. Or is it that sleepwalking is a little brain malfunction? I don't know how sleepwalking works, but sleepwalking's on the rise. Look at that recall. You're not sleepy at all. And that's why we're gonna start with you, Zachy. False. Mm, yikes. And what other primate do you think monkeys can sleepwalk? You're sticking with that. Quasi James, what do we got? What do we got? True or false? He changed his mind. You gotta lock it in. Elephants. Quasi. True. <laughs> true? Yes. We love to see it. I said true. It seems like something that'd be true. True. And it seems like something that would be true because it is true. Yeah. yeah. So, Corn Diddy, you are out of here. A nice, <laughs> cozy pair of pajama pants that honestly kind of look like the pants you're currently wearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I lost. I have to take my pants off. How many Americans lose sleep due to stress? We're not oh, just shit. talking about the ones in this room. <laughs> Is it A, 60% of Americans, Damn. B, 70%, Damn, C, up. 85%, or D, 95%. I feel like as the more melatonin and the coziness kicks in, they get quieter and quieter. Mm. Is this the trick? <laughs> Is this to rate the trick to reigning in the fellas? I'll go for it. <gasps> Quasi James has locked it in. F it. A, and this is alarming. Rachel, why are you grabbing things now? <laughs> Don't look over there, <laughs> look over here, boys. See a solid 85. 85, 85, and Corn Diddy. I'm squeezing the middle, smack dab in the middle. And Corn Diddy, you are correct. Amundo, oh, it is 70%, so we need some cozy Quasi, pants Quasi, Quasi for Quasi James and Johnny Cakes. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna good. change on camera. We're going real slow. Oh, are the sleepy right, people boys. too slow for you? Yes, they are. <laughs> What mythical creature is a personification of sleep? Is it A, the Sandman, B, the Boogeyman, C, Thanatos, or D, the Babadook? <laughs> Corn Diddy, hit us with your answer. Okay, so I'm going with C, Thanatos. Um, I'm annoyed because Mr. San the Sandman, you may be referring to Neil Gaiman's, but you could also be referring to Mr. Sandman. Boom, 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 boom. And he's more of a sleepy man. So I feel like Mr. Sandman has many uh, hats that he wears. I don't know who the f Thanatos is. All right, I have B, the boogeyman. The picture is the boogeyman with his hands out like this. Uh-huh. And he's going and he's a little, little, tiny little dick. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love it, but it is wrong. Zachary, you are also wrong. Mr. Cakes, you are correct. Sandman. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Oh, yeah. I but I feel like Zach, can I donate a point to Zach? Because I feel like he, okay. <laughs> Mom says no. The rich just keep yeah, getting richer. <laughs> I forgot it was a prize. You do kind of look like a dad on Christmas morning. Which animal mm -hmm. is capable of unihemispheric sleep, in which only one hemisphere of the brain is asleep at a time? Oh shit, goals. The Katy Perry. Have you seen the that? twitch, yeah, the twitch. The a horse fish. Is it a dolphin? Is it a deer? Is it a horse? Or is it an octopus? 
I got D octopus. D an yeah. octopus. Yes. Now this looks like a testicle with hair on it, but it's mm -hmm. not. It's an octopus with <laughs> arm stretching. But well, I said octopus too. Another octopus. Yeah, I, octopus are actually aliens. Did you know that? Zach, did you know that octopus are also not unihemispheric sleepers? Darn. Can you prove it? Um, no, but some scientists probably can. It's actually dolphins that can fall asleep. All right, sleep masks on, glasses boys. Oh, you all have glasses. Aww. That's so cute. Yeah, you want the oh, holes for your eyeballs. Wow, you guys have expensive taste. <laughs> <laughs> How much force can people apply when grinding their teeth during sleep? 50 pounds, 150 pounds, 200 pounds, or 250 pounds? You, oh, who knows? No, but I had to cross one out. Okay. <laughs> this is a stab in the dark, C. C. We're guessing C for no particular reason. Well, no, because remember in high school when they're like, if you don't know the answer, write C. Oh, yeah. Abba, abba dabba. Okay. I got D250. We love to see it. C. You want C200? Oh, shit. Cakes and corn ditty. You're going to get more cozy. Quasi James, you were correct. It nice. is 250 pounds. Nice. Um, yeah. Hey. Cakes is getting an eye mask. Yo, I might be slipping. Yo. Oh, the sleep mask. Is this, this is nice. It just <laughs> locks the light out. <laughs> we still got a chance. High five, Quasi. Still a chance. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our final round. This is gonna be the hardest round and the round where we try to make you the most cozy you've ever been. Good luck. Your first question. Which dog breed is the only canine known to experience sleep apnea? <laughs> oh. Is it A, a pug, B, a schnauzer, C, a Great Dane, or D, an English Bulldog. Got it. Quasi, you seemed ready to go. You changed your mind. We're going with okay. Corn Diddy. Corn Diddy, what do you got? Okay, this is the hard round where the obvious answers are wrong. Smart. So you may think it's the pug or the English Bulldog. Smart. No, it's the one that sounds like snoring. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot it was the hard round and I said A. A pug? Yeah. And Quasi James. I'll say A, a pug because of the breathing. Answer me this, are you ready to be cozy? Yeah. yeah. You are all wrong. It is the English Bulldog. Well, that's smart, easy. Smart. We're gonna do some rearranging here. You can snuggle, though it's not mandatory. <laughs> oh my God, so cute. <laughs> Moving on to our next question. You're out of here. Zach, you have to move your fingers every once in a while so we know you're not sleeping. <laughs> it's like a Tesla. Yeah. All right, boys. Which major U.S. city has the lowest percentage of adults who report sleeping less than seven hours? Is it the Arizonians, mm. the Washingtons? Washingtonians. Washingtonians? Washingtonians? The Hoosiers? <laughs> or the Colorado? Colorado? Colorado. <laughs> I got it. Quasi James. You got, ding ding first, so what do you got? I got B. I said A because of the old people. Shout out to my boulders. Shout out to all the boulders. And you know, Zach, you've bouldered it correctly. Maybe it's because of all the hiking, all the nature. Yeah, it's nature and weed. They got it figured out. We are going to make this an extra cozy situation. What'd they get? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Like ah, oh. Yeah. I actually am so sorry. Sorry, Rachel. Johnny moved so fast to get that. This oh. is so cute. The I f at how oh, adorable I this. this is. Okay, you sleepy little cuties. Which one of these is a real sleep disorder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it A, exploding head syndrome? What? B, crawling ant phenomenon? C, tingly winglies? D, <laughs> unconscious vertigo? Or E, there's an E? R E M splitting. Quasi's well, got it. Zach, are you there? I, are you there, awake? If I could fall asleep this easily with chronic pain, do you think that I would complain about anything ever? I said the crawling ant syndrome. <laughs> crawling ant phenomenon. Phenomenon. You get them creepy crawlies. Yeah, it sounds right. I said me got those creepy crawlies. I'm going with the ant. <gasps> Everyone thinks it's ants. I got ants in my pants. And Sorry, boys. This question's going to make your head explode because uh, exploding head syndrome that's... is the real sleep disorder in which you hear a loud noise or explosive crashing sound in your head. That's so scary. Time to be cozy, Zach. You were dying for one of those plushes, and now the dream is yours. Do you guys sleep on your back, on your tummies? I'm a fetal position kind I'm, of bitch. I'm, I'm a, I spin a lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm a, a spinner. spinner. I'm a spinner. Fellas, what is the longest documented time anyone has gone without sleep? 
Is it A, nine days, B, 10 days, C, 11 days, or D, 12 days? That sucks. Yeah. Imagine 12 of no sleeps. <laughs> I know that there is a threshold at which, like, you, You'll die. you die. I got D. D, we're going 12 days from I Crazy haven't written Jane. anything yet. Yeah. I, I am extreme. between 10 and 12, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go away from Crazy. I'm gonna say B. 12 days. Yeah, 12 feels good. Boys, are you ready to get even more cozy? Yay. Because the world record was set at 11 days. What? In 1963, 17-year-old Randy Gardner set the world record by staying awake for 11 days and 25 minutes as an experiment for a science fair. Because of the severe health effects, the Guinness Book of World Records no longer keeps a record of this activity. Randy, you dumb bitch. We're running out of things to give them. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think you would be this silly. Oh, the baby's got it figured out. This was a hit in 87, yo. Sleep all day, listen to nice music. And you shit on yourself. And make someone else clean up your shit. Boys. <laughs> make Boys. someone else clean up your shit, <laughs> as opposed to cleaning up your own shit. Yeah. All right, we got a close game right here. So what we're actually gonna do is make these next two questions. Hey, close is close. Thank you. This game is not close. Oh my god, I gotta win. Okay, got Johnny's got his energy back. Okay. We're gonna make these next two questions worth five points each Damn. to make it anybody's game. Whoever wins the hotel stay, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the name of the condition, also known as teeth grinding, in your sleep? Is it A. Bruxism, B. TMD, C. TMJ, or D. Mastication? I know two of these. I like the word masticate because it sounds just like. Mm hmm. Remember, this is in your sleep. I'm going with Bruxable. I think it's one of the TMs. I went D for dentata. <laughs> what dentata. does the TM stand for? Tooth. <laughs> my <laughs> tooth, my dentata. I went with Zach because he's been doing okay, so I got A. So we cheated. So we're admitting to cheating here. All right. Also, I've well, been doing very poorly. <laughs> I have one more point than you, and we both suck at this. Well, boys, you are actually correct. It puts Zach ahead of Johnny Cakes. <laughs> no, and no. it puts Quayley ahead of Johnny Cakes. Five, five, Johnny five, Cakes, you are now in third place. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well then why try? All the money is riding on this last question. <laughs> what invention has led to the average amount of time asleep across all people to drop by one and a half hours? Is it A, the cell phone, B, the television, C, the computer, or D, the light bulb? Sorry, with the, with the thing on? No, but wouldn't it be funny if I felt, okay. Oh, no! I say A. I said TV, because I think more people have TVs, like old and young people. I think that the operative word in this question is all. I would have said cell phone if you had not given me a multiple choice, but not all people have cell phones. Not all people have televisions, right. but I'm willing to bet that almost all people have light. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing on there, Zach, but you can you can give it to us orally. <laughs> There's a faint. There's a faint light bulb. Oh, it's so f***ing bright in here. Light, light bulb. bulb. And this is for all the money, all the marbles. This is a free stay. Our current champion of cozy torture trivia is Zach Kornfeld with the invention of the light bulb. Wow, that's good. Me and Johnny are having a vacation. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to sleep with Zach. <laughs> Get in I here, mean, buddy. in bed. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. Did the losers just get caffeine? <laughs> Thank you. Final punishment yeah. is caffeine. Oh. Try, guys, game time. Princess, we'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time on Torture Trivia. Go to sleep, little boys. <laughs> Do you like this song?
Bye.